it's a good little spot to have a little breakfast. <laughs> I can't break this banana open. I hate doing this. I bet your house doesn't have a view like that. Is this a reality? Is this something that you can expect to experience on an average day in van life? Is this really like what it's like? Absolutely. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the things that you're gonna to have to experience when you first start moving into a van because there's gonna be some major changes coming your way. <laughs> yep. But they always outbalance the bad and the good. <sighs> I don't know, I don't, this whole lifestyle has just been awesome all the way around. It's been an experience, a journey, an up and down roller coaster, and worth every second of it. So I thought we would just talk about some of the changes that you're gonna have to make because of living in a van. Shitting in a bag. Yep, that's kind of a thing. <laughs> Not everybody's got room to put like a full-blown toilet and stuff like that in their vehicle. So for a majority of us, shitting in a bag is kind of just a part of your week that you're gonna have to just deal with. It's no big deal. It may seem like Ugh! crazy at first. And it is weird the first time. The first time you do it, you just feel like, oh, where, where's my life gone? that I got his shit in a bag. Second time, yeah, still a little bit weird. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time, ah, whatever, it's just normal. <laughs> yeah, I shit in a bag. Van lifers, that's just kind of what we do if you don't have a full-blown toilet in your van. And not everybody wants one, I know I don't. I don't got room in my van for one, nor do I want one. I just shit in my garbage can when I really have to. All right, we're not talking about that anymore. But that is a thing. Pissing in a bottle. And I've known brand new van dwellers that just started out that were like, I will never pee in a bottle, no freaking way. But once they do it once, twice, three times, they realize pissing, a bo pissing in a bottle not only is fun, <laughs> okay, it's not fun, but it's super convenient and it just freaking works. It's the smallest little compact little toilet right there. No big deal, super easy. You just put it over your, your parts and you do it. But that is a thing, expect it. You know, I know so many people now are like, I will never do either of those, not in my van. Bullshit. I call you on that one right now. You may not do it in your first six months because I never took a number two in my van for probably six or eight months. And when I did it, pfft, changed the whole game. <laughs> but that is something that you're gonna have to expect to do at some point, living in a van. Expect to be a little cold sometimes, and sometimes just hot. Because in your cargo van, or whatever kind of van you're gonna buy, we don't have the means to fully climate control the inside of our van, and why would we? Why would we want to make that thing just like just like your home and your apartment? I like the fact that I wake up in the morning and it's cold as sometimes. I enjoy that. That's like just a part of this lifestyle that's just a part of it. I enjoy getting up in the morning, cranking my heater on and going back to bed. I don't know, but I will take that over any time living in my freaking apartment, any day. It's just been more fun. But you can spend all that money and buy those expensive, expensive heaters, like the $1,000 Webestos or whatever the, I don't even know what they're called. But those, yeah, you can spend money on those heaters and kind of leave them on all the time with the temperature thing. Why? It's fan life. It's okay to be cold sometimes in the morning and it's okay to have a warm evening sometimes where you gotta crack your van open or let the breeze run through, turn on your roof vent if you've got one. But if you're expecting your van to be just as comfy as your apartment on the temperature side, you're wrong. <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. But what I have found that van life has given me 
is the want to be outside more, right? I want to be out here if it's cold or not. I don't care if it's cold. Look at my whole house is open. My side doors are open. My back doors are open. And why wouldn't they be? But expect to have a cold home in the morning and sometimes a cold home at night. It is what it is. I'm not the kind of person to run my heater all night long. I shut my heater off before I go to bed. But that doesn't mean if I'm not watching a movie and then all of a sudden my van's like Burr. Like last night, I was watching movies on my cell phone and I'm like, like shivering. I'm like, cause my hand was outside the bed. Anyway, but whatever. If you're expecting to stay cause super, super warm or super, super cool at all times, <laughs> you're wrong. If you're expecting your van to be just as cozy as your apartment or house, you're wrong again. Why? Because your van is gonna be way more comfortable than any home or apartment you've ever lived in. If you're built for van life, this is gonna be the most comfortable thing you've ever owned and lived in, I'm telling you. The van is like this tiny little cocoon that you just feel so comfortable in. There's no place in this world I would rather be than in my van. Like if I'm out somewhere or doing anything, I'm so excited about just coming back to my home. This is literally the best thing ever. And I don't think there's anything in the world that I would ever trade this in for. Why would I? Look where my house is. Are you kidding me? That's my home. That's my backyard. Oh, if you want to be technical, that's my front yard. So you can expect that at a van life. You can expect that if this lifestyle is built for you and you are built for it, that you will love every aspect of it. Those people who whine, complain, and just are all around not happy with van life, it's just because the lifestyle was not meant for them. They weren't meant to be a nomad. They weren't meant to be the person that lives out in the wild and in nature and moves around all the time. Those are the kind of people that belong in the sticks and bricks. So don't listen to them whine and complain. Those aren't the people you want to take advice from anyway. One thing you definitely can expect is van life to bring some major changes to your world and you as a person. It's going to change you. It's going to change how you think. It's going to change how you live. It's going to change how you buy and consume things and what you do with your time and your day. Get in the van. You will love it. You will enjoy it. Give it some time and you will morph right into the lifestyle. All those things like shitting in a bag and all those other things just become a part of your day because it's so worth it. I would rather shit in a bag and live this lifestyle and look at this view right now than to sit on a porcelain bowl in a home that I don't want to be in with the same view that I look at every day. Sorry, but I'll take this lifestyle over any lifestyle any day. So if you think van life is for you, or you're living in a van right now, you know exactly what I mean. Just get into the van, you will love every aspect of it. And don't sweat those little things that you have to do. Don't be like, oh well, oh forget it, man. You'll, you'll just get into it. It'll just become a part of your day. It'll become the funnest part of your day because shitting in a bag is not normal. It's kind of fun, actually. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna end it with that. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow.